Castles of Steel by Robert K. Massey, A Literary Analysis Robert K. Massey's Castles of Steel is a compelling work that delves deep into the naval aspect of World War I, published in 2004, this historical narrative masterfully weaves together the intricate details of naval warfare, diplomacy, and the human element during a tumultuous period in history. Massey's work offers readers a vivid and comprehensive understanding of the naval conflict and its impact on the broader war effort, exploring themes of strategy, leadership, and the enduring human spirit in the face of adversity. Massey's narrative prowess is evident from the outset, as he draws readers into the epic struggle between the British Royal Navy and the Imperial German Navy. The title, Castles of Steel, aptly captures the essence of the battleships at the heart of the conflict. These colossal vessels, laden with heavy armor and firepower, served as the backbone of each nation's naval power and were symbolic of the industrial might and ambition of their respective empires. Massey's choice of title highlights not only the physical attributes of these warships but also the profound role they played in the geopolitical landscape of the time. One of the central themes of Castles of Steel is the importance of naval strategy and leadership during World War I. Massey takes readers behind the scenes, offering a detailed account of the decision-making processes in both the British and German navies. Admirals such as Sir John Jellicoe and Admiral Reinhard Scheer emerge as key figures whose strategies and decisions shape the course of the conflict. Massey's narrative skillfully conveys the immense pressure and responsibility that these leaders faced, making it clear that their choices had far-reaching consequences, not only for the outcome of individual battles but also for the broader war effort. The human element is another significant theme in Massey's work. He skillfully introduces readers to the individuals who served aboard these colossal warships, giving them a voice and identity beyond their roles as sailors. Through personal stories and accounts, Massey brings to life the camaraderie, fear, and determination that defined life at sea during wartime. This humanization of the characters adds depth and emotional resonance to the narrative, allowing readers to connect on a personal level with the individuals who played a part in this historic conflict. In Castles of Steel, Massey also explores the diplomatic aspects of the war, demonstrating how naval actions were closely intertwined with international politics and alliances. The naval arms race between Britain and Germany, the complex relationships between nations, and the delicate balance of power in the pre-war era all come into sharp focus. Massey's narrative underscores how the decisions made by diplomats and statesmen had a direct impact on naval operations, making it clear that the outcome of the war was not solely determined by naval battles but also by the intricate web of international relations. Massey's prose is both engaging and informative, making castles of steel accessible to a wide range of readers. He skillfully balances historical accuracy with compelling storytelling, ensuring that the book is not only a valuable resource for scholars but also an enjoyable read for those with a general interest in history. His meticulous research is evident in the wealth of details and anecdotes that enrich the narrative, providing readers with a comprehensive and immersive experience. In conclusion, Robert K. Massey's Castles of Steel is a literary masterpiece that offers a captivating exploration of naval warfare during World War I. Through its themes of strategy, leadership, and the human experience, the book provides a well-rounded understanding of this pivotal period in history. Massey's narrative expertise and meticulous research make Castles of Steel a must-read for anyone seeking to gain insight into the naval dimension of World War I and the individuals who shaped it.